and welcome to a very brand new show here on Jewelry Maker. It's called New to Jewelry Maker. Basically, the premise of the show is, is that if you're interested and yet haven't started your journey into jewelry making and you want to know how to do it in a simple, fun and friendly environment, then this is the place to be. Hello there, CDVD. It comes straight to me. Did you notice that? It literally came straight at me to say, and we can make it as simple and as effective as you want here at Jewelry Maker. This is a show that quite simply introduces you to an amazing hobby, a fantastic way to introduce yourself to fantastic feature jewelry, unique, inspired designs that you can create for yourself. And uh, we do it in a really, really easy way by giving you something for free. Yes. Does it sound good? Free, I say yes. We are giving you a free tutorial booklet and DVD with your first purchase with us. This introduces you to everything you need to know to get started. Quite simply, the ins and outs of jewelry making, the essentials, the techniques that will really create some phenomenal, unique jewelry for yourself. We're talking about the tutorial booklet and I'll just quickly give you a glance through so you can see there, it shows you all of the various techniques. It also gives you a little bit more information about us as a company and other such information like that. But but this is how to get started in simple way. If you're somebody who reads but actually likes the active and likes to see the practical, then you get the practical DVD as well, where you can stop and start. It shows all of your basic techniques. Everything that you need to get started is here in your recipe book. Now, if you've got the recipe book, what do you need? Ingredients, don't you? Absolutely, you need ingredients, and that's exactly what we're going to give you today. And we are guaranteeing that you can get started into jewelry making for less than 30 pounds. Oh yes, a new hobby for less than 30 pounds. That is a guarantee today. That's what the new to jewelry maker show is all about. It's also about inspiring you to get started. And there is one lady who will certainly do that today. I know that for certain. The lovely Cherry. Hello, Hello. Cherry. It's exciting. It's really exciting. Tell yes. us about the principles of, of what, how you got started into jewellery making. Um, I just love jewellery so much. Um, I love putting the colours together, the colours and the textures, and uh, I was really buying too much jewellery. So <laughs> I thought I'd better start making it, um, and what a fantastic hobby it's proved to be. It's really therapeutic um, and just great fun, and really accessible and easy to do. And I'm going to show you today just how easy it is to get started. And the whole purpose of this show yes. is to not go advanced, it's not to do anything OTT, it's no. literally showing how simple um, the smallest and basic techniques can be the, create the most effective jewellery. And I think really that well, one of the nicest things that we can do is to say effective jewellery but still incredible value for money. We're working with Genuine Gemstones and that's something that I must highlight. We are part of the Genuine Gemstone company here at Jewellery Maker which says as it is on the tin, Genuine Gemstones you will be working with today. And to introduce the first kit, now for those of you who are watching for the very first time ago, but what is a kit? It is basically everything you need to get started other than the recipe book. And we all know that the recipe book and the DVD come free of charge with your first purchase. So this is everything you need to get started in terms of your ingredients. So let's talk about those ingredients because as I say, genuine gemstones is all that we can offer you here at Jewelry Make. If you're gonna get into an amazing hobby like this one and you want it to be value for money, well, talk about value. Look at it here, an incredible opportunity three feature strands of genuine gemstones. I'm going to keep on reminding you that you're not talking with synthetics. You're not going to be working with, you know, plastics, etc. These are the real deal. And talking of the real deal, probably one of the world's most recognizable gemstones coming in the first kit. We're talking about amethyst. Now, when you talk amethyst, there's an instant expectation of rich, saturated, velvet purples. And that's what you've got here. 12 millimeter size. So significant size, a really versatile strand at that. 
This is the type of strand that will really go a long way to creating impact jewellery. And again, we've got to keep reminding you, if your techniques are going to be simple, you want to work with wow factor ingredients to get your jewellery noticed. Because you want to wear jewellery that has that impact. Otherwise, don't wear jewellery at all. You know, that's what you've got here. Wow factor show-stopping strands. Deep, rich, velvety colours of your amethyst. 12 millimetre in size, so significant size to begin with in this kit strand two it sticks on that principle of wow factor because we're talking about graduated size obsidian now another gemstone that for many many people is highly recognized obsidian here at jewel maker is one of our big sellers because it has a full bodied color a bit like the amethyst when you think of it you think full saturated rich color these are graduated size now just take a look at this simple and effective jewelry all you need to do is restrand and add a clasp and take a look at the magnificent neckline piece that you could have in your jewelry collection. Genuine gemstone feature look. I mean, if I just did that, simple restranding, and we'll show you all how to restrand right here on this show. Restrand, add a clasp. And hey presto, just look at that beautiful look. I mean, it's all there for the taking in this amazing combination. Now that is strand two. Shall we add on another strand? Too right we will. How about lift, lifting the colour? Let's take that rich purple, let's get that saturated black and then let's just get pizzazz of purple. Yes, you've got here your faceted black agate striped colors of purples that sweep through each one of these gemstones. What a lovely collaboration of gems. Now, the thing is with our kits is, is that one of the biggest things that we've got to say is, is that, you know, when you build, you're making a cake, right? Your cake is going to look great and be great as long as it has all of the ingredients that it needs, right? You can make a cake with egg and butter and flour, but if you don't have the key ingredient of sugar, then it's not gonna be a proper cake now, is it? That's one thing with jewelry making. If you get the right ingredients and all of the right ingredients, it's gonna go a long way to making superb looking, genuine gemstone jewelry. So you've got your three strands, but we're gonna give you everything else you need. How about this? We're gonna give you all of the other statement parts of jewelry making essentials. I said, how about you just restrand that beautiful obsidian? Well, you'd need to restrand with the beading threads, and that's exactly what you're getting here. Now, you're getting two lots of your beading thread, your silver, and you're also getting your purple colored beading thread. You're also going to get your elastic. Now, elastic is great, versatile part of jewelry making, stretchy bracelets, etc. Really, really versatile way to get great jewelry with very simple techniques so you're getting like, your clear and your purple elastic with this kit shall we keep on adding I think we shall you are also going to get just to really again lift and really give you a versatile look for your jewelry making we're going to give you some organza ribbon of course great for cording great for threading and you're getting an amazing feature of color here just to give another powerhouse we are talking here 10 meters of your purple organza ribbon and because you're working with ribbon you're also going to get your cord endings these are just to give your jewelry a final flourish of professional finish where you get just simple as this adding in your your ribbon to the cord ending clasp it closed and hey presto you've got an extender clawed necklace just like that i mean it's that simple four of those four of them, not even just one four of those and then some more more. Now the more is where I've got to highlight the essentials to building a house. We've talked about making cakes, but essential to building a house is what? Not just the bricks, but it's the cement. You've got to make sure that something brings it together and holds it. That's your findings. Now in the jewelry world, when you start to talk about findings, it's all the ingredients that really do hold the jewelry together. Take a look. 
you are getting a hundred findings with this kit. That's a hundred findings. Now you're looking and you're going, hang on a minute, but this is all, I don't even know what, what, what I need to do with half of those things. I could see shepherd hooks there, but how do I make earrings out of that? Don't worry, your call will be answered today. We are gonna answer all of your basic questions today on this show. A hundred, a hundred pieces of findings. We'll go through with Cherry, all of those findings, but you do get a meter of chain as well as your toggle clasps, You'll also get head pins and eye pins. But again, we'll go through those terminologies. We'll explain all of that very, very shortly. Final flourish. If you're making jewellery, uh, certainly you're going to get a lot of jewellery out of a kit like this. It might be a gift for yourself, but it also might be the chance to treat somebody else. If you do, you want to present it in a nice, elegant way. And therefore, you will get... 10 organza gift bags as well just to give your jewelry that final i made this type of style and you've got that 10 organza gift bag opportunity now I made a promise at the very beginning of this show that you can get into jewelry making for less than 30 pounds. I made that promise. Now I can tell you now that our toolkit is less than 10 pounds. So therefore, what I have to say, simply have to say, that you are about to get this kit, everything, the three strands of genuine gemstones, the organza ribbon, the bindings that bring it all together, your findings, your elastic, your beading thread, your presentation gift bags, all of this comes to you for less than 20 pounds. Seriously, amazing opportunity to really unleash. Now you might be somebody sitting there going, but I'm not that creative. The amazing thing about working with genuine gemstones is with the very, very limited creativity that perhaps you have, you will get the most wonderful jewelry and you actually may surprise yourself with your creativity. I know for a lot of people who write into us after starting their journey of, of jewelry making, often say, well, I didn't think I was creative until I started to explore this amazing Amazing, uh, this amazing channel and certainly I'll say to you this is the show that really is the, just the beginning of your journey we are part of your journey we want to be part of your journey that's why you get your free tutorial booklet and DVD with your first purchase with us and of course the nice thing about uh, buying from us is is that we are part of a real family of jewelry makers we really are here to be to be a lovely just beginning middle and, and continuing journey for your jewelry making needs so this is just the start less than 20 pounds is how you can introduce yourself to jewelry making so how about we head over to cherry and let's get a real sense of, of what this is all about. I've talked about findings already, and I think for a lot of people, if you tune into our, our, our uh, show during the day, which uh, sits live nine till one in the, after, in, in the morning stroke afternoon, um, a lot of people go, but you talk about things that I don't even know what they are. Crimp beads, head pins, eye pins, what are they? That's what this show is all about. New to Jewelry Maker, this show right here that you're watching is all about introducing you to the very basics of of this amazing amazing yes, hobby it is and it actually becomes for a lot of people much more than a hobby actually doesn't it, it really really does oh no I, I, you'll find out when you get started but it's it's addictive it's um it's just fabulous enlightening it, almost it is enough enlightening. for a lot of people it is it is a journey you yeah. said a journey earlier and that's very much what it is a journey and we're here right at the very beginning that's the lovely um, thing which I'm, is, not really excited. It's, I'm excited <laughs> as well because it's just what you need to get you started and to give you that little bit of confidence to and to one make of the, that leap. The biggest things I think for a lot of people is they want to investigate something, but the, the investment of finance is always going to be that stumbling yes. block. And when yes. you say start a hobby for less than £30, I don't know of any hobby where you can start for less than £30. No, absolutely. Tools, ingredients, yes. recipe, but all of that for less than £30. And, and that's real. why this show is, I think, going to be so much the, the beginnings for a lot of people to enjoy this amazing, yeah. amazing hobby. Very so, much so. Real quality ingredients. Findings. Findings. These are something, I wonder if we, we should, if I pop it here, mm -hmm. Jerry, yes. and then we might be able to also get it in our above camera if we need a close-up. Okay. What you've got here is 100 findings. Now, 100 means a lot of jewellery. And does. in fact, 
when you start to whoa <laughs> when you see that shot look at all of those my goodness me okay this is everything it is and a little bit more to make a difference to jewelry making and make it easy and enjoyable and effective isn't it it's what you need to have a professional finish to your jewelry um with with these findings and the tools in the toolkit yes that is everything you need to make beautiful professionally finished jewellery. So, things like head pins right. and eye pins, okay. Cherry, because I know that, that on our show, you know, our morning show, we talk a lot about head pins and eye pins and we yes. use those terminologies expecting people to instantly know what they are and that's actually not the case. No, it's not. I remember not. the first day I ever joined, during yeah. the first time I presented, I literally sat there going, and it was the, uh, one of our guest designers, in fact our in-house designer, Linda, and I was going, a crimp what? Yes. A head what? <laughs> so let's let's introduce you to so some of the, 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 the names and terminologies that you will need to know just to get you into, into the very basics. So yes. head pins and eye pins. Okay, we've got here, um, just behind the chain here, we've got head pins. I'll pick one of them up and then at least okay. we can have a close-up. So we have, that's the head pin. That's a head pin and it's basically got a little ball on the end. They don't always have a ball, sometimes they can be flat head pins, but ours are a little bit more decorative and, they, and it adds a little bit of extra something to your head pin. And they're, and gonna, they're, they're used for multiple purposes, aren't they? Lots and lots they? of purposes, which we will go through, but they're basically for threading beads onto to make earrings or pendant drops, things like that really. So, that's your head pin. And to extend that in a very, very simple term, you've got exactly the same, but this time, with a little eye at the end. Yes, and the object of that is exactly the same. You thread your beads onto it and you make um, a replica loop at this end, the same as at that end, and then you can attach. So if you wanted an extra long pair of earrings or an extra long pendant, or if you wanted to use them with chain, you can use them in that way and connect the two ends to your chain. So that's head pins and eye pins. Yes. The other word that instantly floored me when I first started into jewelry making was these little babies. And these are crimp beads. Yes. Right, well I literally, I honestly did not have a clue, and yeah. I promise you, I didn't have a clue what these were. I didn't even know why you'd need something called a crimp bead. Now, Yes, and actually, yeah. my, my, my producer went, actually, when she first started working here, she thought of crimpers for your hair. Yes. And that was where the eighties. We're showing our ears <laughs> there, Chloe, sadly. Yes. Um, but actually, these are crimp beads. Yes. Little and tubes. Little, they are basically little thin tubes, and they are invaluable. You use these every time you attach a clasp, and you put your thread, your beading thread, goes through there and back through it to create a loop to attach your clasp, which we'll go through. So they're invalu invaluable. I was going to say, you those. would say probably they are one of the most important aspects they of are. jewelry making, really, they aren't are. they? Because they become almost the foundations to your jewelry pieces. You yes. know, we talk about building a house, and many of these ingredients are probably the cement, but I'd say perhaps a, a crimp bead is more of the foundations to your jewelry Absolutely, making. Absolutely, yes. So you would thread your bead through and then you squash it with your pliers so that it's flat. Give it a squeeze. Yes, and, on, and to finish off your jewelry really professionally here, we've included in this beautiful findings pack some crimp covers just to give it a little bit of elegant yeah. finish again it's that professional finish and again we'll show you how to use those later on in the show yes. so that you really do get a sense of of how to finish your jewelry it's not just about making it it's getting that real quality finish and again if you're working with genuine gemstones and if you're watching us you know we really do want to give you the chance to not just good good looking jewelry but we want you to have great feature professional looking jewelry yes. and um, now additions things that people probably have already come a, come across in jewelry mm. but perhaps not too work in within making their own yes. shepherd hooks shepherd hooks and if i Maybe. hold it up there you go so that's that's um your earring finding and you have a little loop at the bottom and you attach either your eye pin or your head pin onto there um, and that makes your earrings so now, really as useful. part of, of this kit, you also get your chandelier drops. So you could attach those like so could. to create an earring drop, can't yes. you? Yes, yeah. Now, we do have other ways of using these. We have other ways. Oh, yes, <laughs> oh, we do. Because here at Jeremy, we like to see something and then think outside the box and see how can we use them in a different way. Perhaps in another show, we might investigate yes. using a chandelier in an alternative yes. to just in the drop style. But we'll investigate how these work later on in the show. And actually, you will see, if I 
fact, I can show you them now. You can see how effective both the shepherd hook and the chandelier drop is for one pair of earrings. And this is all from the kit for less than 20 pounds. So everything that you're seeing within these findings are in the kit for less than 20. I'm not showing you anything that you won't get. Okay, including the meter of chain. A meter of chain. When I first started doing <laughs> these finds pack and I got a meter of chain, I genuinely thought, I thought Christmas had come every day. Yes, it's a wonderful. Because a meter of chain goes so far. It gives you such scope within the, um, designing your jewellery because you're not going to say, oh, well, I can't do that because I haven't quite got enough. That's I right. use it for this, I won't have enough for that. So you've got plenty there. It's not going to compromise your designs at all. A couple of more things just to highlight. You get jump rings. And again, jump rings. Um, <clears throat> An important aspect of yes, jewelry. Yes, they are. Not very, essential, very useful. But very, very useful. Very useful. Really useful. Again, for that professional finish. Um, these are closed jump rings, um, you, but you can slip them open and reclose them. So, really, really useful. And like a binding almost, aren't they? Yes. You know, they like connect a things. Yeah. Yes. And on top of that, you've also got beads, which are just a nice little bonus, just to add a bit of get a decorative quality. Yeah. Nice size for the hole so that you can use them in beading threads, etc. Yes. Plus, you're also going to get a variety of toggle clasps, including your heart shape, which I have to say I think is it's very beautiful. designer. Very, very designer, darling. Um, you could use that actually as a charm if you wanted you to. Could, couldn't yes, you could, yes, you could. You also get um, a round toggle clasp, and you're also going to get, now you'll hear this quite often, bolt ring clasp and jump ring. What is a bolt ring clasp and jump ring? Well, this is that. It is quite simply a clasp that you would find on your necklaces or bracelets and the jump ring is just that little bonus and that's one of the standards that you'll get as jewellery making um, becomes your your day to day. And I will warn you for a lot of people it starts as a hobby and it takes over because it's oh, yes. so an amazing. It's also very therapeutic for a lot of people. It, it really does become a passion and that's the very word. Very much so. It you is know. a passion. And it I know is. quite a lot of people have explored, you know, not just taking it from their hobby. A lot of people these days exploring business potential in it as Very well etc so so. So. so one final thing one final thing which is um, with this kit yes with this kit there you're also going to get uh, these you get a few of these I'm not sure quite four, four of these. yeah four of these these are lovely you've got your lobster claw clasp in the middle there and then you've got these little things either side and, a, and an extender chain and these are superb for using with ribbon yes um, and every kit that we supply ribbon with we put four of these uh, into the kit but you can also use them with beading thread so I'd like to show you that as well later that'd on that'd be great and uh, um, honestly all I can say is that all the techniques that I've used on all this jewellery is so simple by the end of this week you you really will be able to make all of this and more and you oh, will excited. know what you're doing and one of the nicest things about Jerry Maker, and I know for a lot of people who have watched us over the, the past three years, have said that one of the finest parts of Jerry Maker is, is not that, that we're just a one-stop shop for jewelry making essentials, but actually we're there to inspire you, to give you the creativity, and hopefully give you the techniques, and that's exactly what this show is about. It's not just about giving you, oh, look at that price tag, let's buy, buy, buy. Actually, we're trying to make this a, a really enjoyable experience. Yes, which make it really, affordable. really is. Make it and affordable. That was my biggest thing. I so let's do this one of my biggest aspects and I'm a bit of a bargain hunter my Nana used to take me every Saturday down the market and and from that but it's instilled in me you find a bargain and I want to make sure that if I can get something to you for less than 20 pounds that gives you all the essentials then yes. that's what I'm gonna do and that's what this show is all about you've got to think about all of this jewelry for less than 20 pounds now if you went to your local department shop and took 20 pounds to the jewelry section i don't think you'd get one of these pieces of jewelry for that and again these are all simple effective yes. very very um, very, very, the word is simple, that's the only one yeah. I can keep on, and easy it, techniques, Really aren't they? easy techniques, and just because they're easy, basic techniques, it doesn't mean to say that you get um, overly simplified jewellery. You can do <laughs> exactly. so many beautiful techniques, um, make up some really beautiful designs, uh, quite simply and easily. Um, I think you might be surprised. Eight pieces of jewellery you've yes. made, Cherry. Eight pieces of jewellery from one kit. Eight pieces of jewellery from one kit. That's coming in at what? One pound twenty-five a piece of jewellery. If you took one twenty-five into your local accessory shop, forget your department shop. Don't go to your jewellers. One pound twenty-five into your local accessory shop. What would you get? Not even a pair of stud earrings these no, days. I'm suggesting. And certainly not genuine gemstones. So, 
Give us some techniques okay. that get everybody started. What right. shall we make? So, I think we should go here first, is my instinct. Okay. Because for me, when I start to see this, and obviously for somebody, I'm very much a novice to jewelry making, but obviously have watched over the years as I've presented yes. and really taken on board some of the very simple techniques and, and then the resulting jewelry. Yeah. The weave technique and then the adding the clasp, it really is something that could be used and used and better used, isn't it, Cherry? It very much so, because once you've um, mastered that, you can then if you reproduce it with even in the same pattern with different size and colour gemstones you'll get a completely different look yeah. and then you can start playing around with the weave itself and the patterns of how you put the weave together yeah. and which sounds complicated but honestly it really isn't so simple I'm, so I'm just going to say one thing sorry Cherry there's one thing I think we need to just highlight we've given you the kit for less than 20 pounds there's one thing that we haven't highlighted that you need and I just want to jump on now and that is the toolkit because I think before we show anything everybody's going to see you using yeah. these tools Cherry yes, and we're going to go are. hang on yeah. a minute you've said for less than 20 pounds the toolkit that's one final thing that I want to add in this is the toolkit it's less than 10 pounds less than 10 that means literally start your hobby for less than 30 pounds this is it your kit and then you've got the toolkit and it's everything from the pliers to the um, to the cutters you get the tweezers you get a lovely little uh, separation box for your findings to keep yes. them safe all for less than 10 pounds so that is your toolkit for less than 30 you are into your jewelry making experience and that's it that is it amazing sorry Sherry I just wanted okay. to do that to yes, give us it's the really technique. important you do need this um, to to um, to be able to make the jewelry you need the proper tools for, for the job, for the job Absolutely. yes. And once you've bought it, you've bought it, and that's it. So. Yeah, and I know a lot of our designers bought it three years ago and still using the same one, so it yes, just shows to show, yeah. you know, how, how hardy they are. So, so, the leading technique that we're going to show you is the weave, and we're also going to show you weave. how to add a clasp as well at the end of it. Okay, so I'm going to take my beautiful purple be beading oh, thread, and the quality of this beading thread, a coloured beading thread, is fantastic. Isn't it just? Now, what I normally do to measure a necklace is I just... I just put the beading thread over my neck. How do you want it as long? And, uh, and always add a little bit extra, because you can always chop it off. So I want about that much. OK. Because it will vary from person to person. And then I'm going to cut off another length, exactly the same length, so that I'm working with two strands of beading thread. OK. So you're getting two exactly the same length. OK, two exactly the same length. Now, when you first get your kit, and you get, you get everything out, put it onto your beading tray. Yes, and which have we are going to do. I will just say for those of you, uh, Cherry's just put, picked up on, we are going to do a little deal for the beading tray shortly, so do keep watching for that. So we do have the beading tray and mat, DVD and things. Like that. We've got that as a starter bundle. As a, If you want it, you can add it on type of offer. Of course, just to remind you also, it's one P&P, which is one postage and packing for the, the whole day from, from Jury Maker. So it means that if you are going to buy the kit, then you can add to your order the toolkit. You can then add to your order the starter bundle if you want. So one PMP for the whole day, doesn't matter how many times you buy from us, it's just £2.95, okay? So, great. Okay, so Two either, stands. Yes, either onto your beading tray or onto a piece of felt so that the gemstones don't run around all over yeah. the table. Um, and have a little play with them. Sort out your sizes. Yes. Uh, you've got graduated rounds in this kit. Yes, so you in need the to sort out the sizes so you can see exactly what you've got. And try and plan beforehand. Well, I'm going to need those for earrings. I'm yeah. going to make, say, three pairs of earrings. Um, and I'm going to need that much for a bracelet. And try and plan it all plan out. Plan ahead. Yes. Okay. So we're going to start off with our two lengths of beading thread and I'll do the design that I've actually got here. So the one that you've actually, you're going to replicate chosen, what you've already created. Yes. Brilliant. So I've taken one of the large 12 mil beads and I've put that through, put both strands through there. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to separate out the strands and the little pattern that I've chosen is to have one of the obsidian, obsidian on one side. Yeah. And then two of the little ones. Oh, the agate. Those gorgeous These lovely bright banded purples. agates. Yes, they're gorgeous, aren't they? So I'm putting two onto this side. And then what happens is, when you actually put these on, if you arrange them like so, when you carry on then and put your next large 
bead on. The beads will naturally find their own way of sitting, like so, like that. So they'll find their own way of naturally sitting. Yes. Whichever size and shape already, you do, you can see it that, sits that like that. Style. And, and those and these beads that I'm threading both of the threads through will actually anchor the design. Brilliant. Okay. So now we've done that, we would continue through the whole neckline, we would. and then we need to add a clasp. Yes. So. If I, if, I mean, are you going to do the toggle clasp? We, we can do the toggle clasp and I think at the same time after that I will show you on the other end how to use the um, ribbon cord endings as well. Perfect. Okay, so you're going to take both of your beading threads. Yes. Now if you were doing a single stranded necklace you would obviously just have one and yes. it's exactly the same method as if you had one strand. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take both of them and you'll find on all your clasps you've got a loop. Yes. On all of them, even closed. the little tiny, a closed loop that you can't open. Okay. So I'm going to start by threading on my crimp bead, like so. Then I'm going to take both of the strands through that little loop and then back over the top of the loop and back through the crimp bead and then you need to pull your crimp bead right up yes. to the loop. But Straight you in. don't want it so you don't want it so tight that yes. it's touching this little loop because okay. then it won't have any movement at all. So you just need a little bit of a little bit of space just to you give it a that little bit of space. Leeway. You need it pulled tight enough so that it looks neat and tidy. Mm -hmm. I'll just sort that out because one of them's slightly longer than the other one. And again, just th to take your time. Yeah, there's you no know. rush. Um, and so you want that little bit of movement so that it dangles. Okay. And then taking my flat nose pliers, okay. which are these pliers here, which have got a lovely flat shape in the middle. Yes. I'm just going to squeeze that really, really tight. Yes. Squeeze it really tight. It's very easy to do. So if anyone that has dexterity problems, it's not, it doesn't take um, a great deal of strength or anything. Yes. And then what I do is I bend back the two ends that I want to cut off. Okay. So I bend those back. Because the beading thread is actually made of um, wire, it's very, very strong and it will stay, when I've bent it back, it will stay in that position. Okay. Now taking my cutting pliers, mm -hmm. there are two sides to these cutting pliers. There's the flat side and the non-flat side. And you're always going to cut against the flat side and that will give you a nice flat edge when you cut. So I'm going to cut against that beading thread there. Whoops. Moving. And I mean, just to remind you, the tool kit coming in at less than ten pounds. When you start to consider that uh, your tools like this, if you try and buy elsewhere, I've known for myself, you can pay that kind of price for just the cutters. I, have a, I did a bit of research not so long ago in a very lo local hobby yes. type of craft centre, and I was I was quite stunned actually. Yeah. You know, I was looking at nine ninety five for one pair of yeah. cutters, yeah. buying them separately, and obviously when it comes all together and it's in a really nice compact thing like that and you just go well, for less than a ten pounds yes you really do have something that's you do. really well thought out really well it? thought out and it's everything you need for the job yeah exactly 9.95 for that just to remind you that's an added to your order to the tool kit uh, pardon me to the kit itself right so now I've got a lovely flat finished. crimp bead Beautiful. finished and I could leave it like that and you'll very often will see quite high-end jewelry left like Absolutely. that but we've given you the option of using some very easy crimp covers yes miss and they look like a little um they look like a cake with a piece cut out of it. <laughs> That's how I it always, always think comes of them. down to food here at Jeremiah. You will find that we often start ending up talking of cake yes, or food. drinks or yes, exactly. we do. you name it. <laughs> we do. Um, so they basically fit over your crimp bead. Yes. You just slot it in there. And again using your flat nose pliers. Yes. All you need to do, slot it into that little is squeeze. Give it a squeeze. Give it a squeeze. And it closes so that you end up with a lovely little round ball. Perfect. And Perfect. you might want to do it a couple of times. Once you've got it on, you might want to just gently, gently squeeze it a couple of times so that it's closed and it's keeping its round shape. Yeah. But don't over squeeze it because you will um, distort it. If yes, you, you do. want to just be, you know, aware of, of it keeping its formation. Yes. And um, very quickly, yes. using the um, the 
ex uh, the extended chain yes. with the, the closed section. I mean, it, this is a genuinely how simple as it, it, as it gets. Where well, you could use your ribbon or you could use the beading thread as Terry's about to show you. Yeah. Just take a look at this. Just it all is is just watch how simple and effective your jewelry can be. I use this a lot. I use a lot of multi-strand necklaces with a lot of these um, up to six threads, um, th six lengths of beading thread. Right, now all you need to remember is that you want your clasp in the middle yes. and you want these two little um, end things, you want them facing facing downwards towards your beads yes. so that this little loop is facing upwards towards the clasp. That's okay. the easiest way I can describe it really. Yes. All you do is pop your threads in there, however many there are. Watch this. This is how brilliant this is. Very soft this. and very easy. And then I like using... simple things. Simple people like simple things. It's very things. satisfying as well. <laughs> is it? Yes. <laughs> so you, you take your um, flat nose pliers and you just squeeze one side over, squeeze it really tight and then squeeze over the other side. Da, 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 like da, da, da. So. And that is not going anywhere. Look at that! And then you've got an amazing feature. Now, you would just give that a little bit of a... Uh, well, I would trim it off yep, there. I would again. just bend those over and, it, and trim off the excess in exactly the same when you've got a lovely, like neatly that. finished... Neatly Loving finished, it. beautiful ending to your necklace. And that's how you easily make yourself a feature necklace. As and I I've say, done you that. can see that this is used on, on so many of the different neckline pieces uh, that we've got here. You can see there. Right, so you can see all of the different different techniques that we've applied. Uh, the cherry's put into the bracelet. She's put that into the neckline pieces. You can see that there. Like a twin, you see that a spin round. You can see all of that technique, the weaving and yes. then the finishing off of the the either the clasp or of the the, the toggles. All of that is effective to this piece of these pieces of jewelry. So it's that simple. These techniques really are that simple. Right then, we have we have. Have a lot still to be able to show you here on the new to jewelry maker show uh, the lovely cherry is going to be around giving us inspiration and even more techniques we're going to move straight over again because i've just been talking about getting started and how 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 basically price effective it is ma and when i say price effective i mean we here at jewelry maker make it our business to make everything affordable in the jewelry maker world and this is a summary of that now if you want to get started don't forget you get your free tutorial booklet and dvd totally free and i say that specifically free of charge with your first purchase so all you need to be saying is okay i want to buy this bundle i want to buy this kit and you will be getting your free tutorial booklet and DVD so you're getting both of them free of charge it gives you all of the information and techniques that you've just seen Cherry give you and on top of that a DVD that backs it up as well all of the essentials are sitting here free of charge talking of free of charge free phone number that you're dialing if you want to join us or 800 644 655 is the number to dial you can join us at www.jurymaker.com if you would like to join us on our website well i tell you what it is so simple and effective to be able to multi-purchase with us certainly with a free p uh, one postage and packing handling as well so that's one p and p take a look at this bundle. This is an amazing bundle. We are going to introduce you. Now, if you might be watching and you've seen the toolkit and you've seen those gorgeous pieces of jewelry and you're going, ah, okay, I'm not sure whether I'm ready for that yet. That's not a problem because this is as amazing a deal as you'll ever get from Jewelry Maker. The ingredients that you get, the whole package, this bundle comprises of your beading, Mat. Now this mat, this essential really, I guess for, for, for many of our jewelry makers, this is, this is an essential, but it's not a must have. It's just something that a lot of people find very effective for their jewelry making. We are also going to give you a fantastic uh, mat as well, just a, an, an additional sheet, just to hold your gemstones on. You're also going to get your glue, which we will show you how, how handy that is later on. You're gonna get your elastic. You're also going to get your beading basics dvd plus 
you're going to get a strand of feature genuine gemstones. These are faceted, multi-coloured agate, those sensuous qualities of colour that dance in the light thanks to the lustrous impact of those facets. Absolutely exquisite. So you're going to get all of this in a new two jewellery maker bundle. This is designed specifically to get you started. If you don't want to buy the toolkit, if you don't want to buy one of our fantastic kits today, but you want to give jewellery making a go, but your price tag is less than a tenner, have you got £10 in your pocket right now? You want to start a new hobby for less than a tenner? How about you do it right here, right now? How about you get this bundle, new to jewelry maker bundle for 9.95, less than 10 pounds. So if you don't wanna buy the tools and you don't wanna buy one of our kits today, but you wanna give jewelry maker a go, we give you genuine gemstones, we give you the elastic so you can make some fantastic elasticated jewelry. You wanna give it a try, you wanna see how you can get inspired, you get the DVD. Now, just to give you an idea, that DVD is four pound 95. That means for everything else, you're paying less than a fiver. The mat, the elastic, your strands of genuine gemstones and the glue and the, the sheet, all for less than a fiver, because that DVD comes in at 4.95 itself. That shows you what good deal that is. It, we want to welcome you. Oh, and of course, you'll get your free tutorial booklet and DVD, all of that for £9.95. Absolutely incredible. Now, we have just talked about the website. We have just talked about the website, and I just want to highlight the fact that for a lot of people who want to get involved in jewelry making, you might be a little bit nervous and thinking to yourself, oh, I don't do this kind of thing. Do you want some support? Well, I have to say to you, our Facebook site is incredible. Our website is a brilliant way to learn more about jewelry making. Um, and let me show you that now. Our website, www.jewerymaker.com. As you can see there, uh, we can tell you all about what's going on in our shows. We can tell you about our chains, our tools. We can tell you, there we are. That's us, new to Jewelry Maker. 8 a.m. every morning we'll be introducing you to Jewelry Making. You can see there you can go to Essentials and Non-Essentials, but you can also go to our Facebook site. Now, we are going to have a very dedicated Facebook site available to you if you are new to Jewelry Maker. So, Facebook site, especially for new to Jewelry Makers. So, do keep an eye out for that as well if you've got any questions to ask certainly cherry and myself will do our very best to answer your questions as you can see there it is facebook.com forward slash new two with the number two jewelry maker that's especially to anybody who's just getting into jewelry making at the start many of our, our great jewelry makers who have been part of jewelry maker from the very beginning some three years ago now will be there as well i'm sure supporting you and welcoming you to to our family we are going to give you the chance to be able to watch us on YouTube as well from Monday we will give you the chance to tune in to our YouTube and, and this very specific show so it's a one-hour show it's called new to jewelry maker UK as you can see there behind us so YouTube Dot com forward slash jewelry maker UK all of our other day shows as well will be on there available to you so once you get the basics once you get involved into jewelry making you can watch our live show nine till one o'clock every day which is live this is a recording but this will go out every morning it starts today on Saturday and it will continue all the way through the week we'll go on repeat so every Saturday we'll put a brand new new to jewelry maker on as well right then where shall we go and what shall we do? How about we show you how to make a stretchy? Good idea? Yeah. Right, so we've just talked about making jewellery is really easy. We've just talked about how simple and effective, if you don't perhaps want to buy the tools and you don't want to get the yeah. kit just yet, but you want to see how simple and easy it is to make jewellery, that 9.95 can go a long way. It can. And it's like this. One elastic, piece of elastic. One piece of elastic, which you'll always get in your kits. And I've just threaded on uh, enough gemstones to make a bracelet. Now, yes. they will vary in size, so um, you need to either measure it on your hand. Seven and a half inches is the average. The average yes. yes. So all I'm doing is doing one knot. Simple. Simple, and then another overhand knot. It's literally two overhand knots. Two overhand knots. Yeah. And then you need to pull it and pull it and pull it and you'll feel it slipping until you until you can feel the tension changing in the elastic. Once you feel that tension has changed, then 
it's actually set into your knot. Yeah. But to make absolutely sure, because by itself that wouldn't be enough, no. to make absolutely sure you need to pop a little bit of glue onto your knot. Which of course comes with this bundle. The glue? Yeah, no. yeah the glue. Oh, the bundle, with this sorry. Bundle. Yes, 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 it does, yes. If you don't have any glue at home, um, you could use um, clear nail, nail varnish. So either use the glue or block. clear nail varnish if you don't get this bundle. But I would say, I mean, this bundle for less than ten pounds, the mat, the DVD, oh, the sheets, the gemstones, the glue, and the DVD, it just it kind it of it is really, really worth it. And even mm. if you're not thinking of it for yourself, but it's a great gift. gift. What a great gift, what actually. A fabulous gift. Ten so, pounds. Yeah. So that's actually, all I would do, um, and then just pop that to one side until it's dried. Done. And then then snip off your elastic. And so that's, that's it. Dead that's simple. a bracelet. That's and it. That's, that's not a bracelet that you would buy in, you know, um, most of your ordinary shops because it's beautiful quality gemstones. Absolutely, so, um, absolutely. Amazing. Yeah. So that's as simple as it is. I mean, that's just, I wanted to give you a heads up on, you can make your own jewellery in seconds and for less than £10. We're going to go straight back again because we have got a second kit. More techniques coming. We're going to use head pins and show you how to really make the most of eye pins as well. Coming up with Cherry, aren't we, darling? Yes. That's right. Yes, we are. Nod of approval there from our chair. We're going to show you we how are. to use your head pins and your eye pins. Before that, I need to show you kit number two. Now, remember, the toolkit itself is less than £10. This toolkit gives you everything you need to get started. We are talking here round nose pliers, flat nose pliers, and U cutters as well. That's all the tools, plus all of the other ingredients, including this nice compartment. It just really does make it a very simple and, and easy, transportable way of getting into your hobby. So, less than £10 for that toolkit. Add it to your order, of course, because it's one P and P. One postage, you're packing of £2.95 for the whole day. Therefore, you need to add in the ingredients and this is where we start again so if you didn't go for kit number one how about this one maybe this is the one that goes for you now i know there'll be a lot of our regulars a lot of our regulars watching this new to jewelry maker going hang on a minute i'm not going to lose out on this one i reckon you're going to be buying this one yourself i know a lot of our jewelry makers out there will see these carved flowers and say yes Yes, yes, that's what you've got here. An absolute resounding yes to these gems. Now, these are hand-carved jasper. Hand-carved jasper. You must acknowledge the fact. One thing that we bring you here at Jury Maker are genuine gemstones, the real deal. You're also going to get your rose quartz rounds. Rose quartz rounds. Plus, you're getting your bicorns of smoke smoky quartz, by cones of smoky quartz as well. All of the, the quality of these gemstones. If, if you start to think about what you would expect to pay in your local jeweler's shop for, I don't know, one pair of earrings of smoky quartz, one pair of earrings of, or a ring, or a pair, you know, a neckline piece of rose quartz, what do you expect to pay? You don't expect to pay less than £20. Certainly, you can't expect that. But that's the price tag that we're going to give you this kit for. Yes, I'm going to say it already. Before I even tell you the rest of the ingredients, less than £20 to get into an amazing new hobby. Less than a tenner for the tools as well. All together, start your hobby this year for less than £30 with Jewelry Maker. We are here to give you amazing techniques, simple techniques to create effective, wow factor, genuine gemstone jewellery. Plus you're getting all of the findings as well. You're going to get your extender clasps, so you're going to get your close, your endings and your clasps. All of those come with the, of course, this, oh that's a gorgeous colour isn't it? Oh raspberry pinks. <sighs> Ooh, makes me think of raspberry ripple ice cream. I'm back to the food again. See, I told you, we always talk about food. You've got there your raspberry ripple colours of that gorgeous organza ribbon. And you've seen how effective it is to finish off those endings with cherry earlier on. You're getting an amazing bundle of additional elastics and beading threads. You've got your rose pinks, you've got your silvers, you've got your clear elastic and your baby pink elastic. Your findings, well, let's talk about those findings again. 100 
100 pieces of your silver plated findings. That one metre of chain, your toggle clasps, your head pins, your eye pins, you already know what those are because we've taken you through those at the beginning of the show. And if you haven't caught the beginning of this show, if you're just tuning in, it's a brand new part of Jewelry Maker. It's called New To Jewelry Maker. And it starts at eight o'clock every morning, eight till nine. We're gonna do a weekly, uh, a weekly show. So this is the first one. And then you will see us every week, uh, Saturday, every Saturday we'll change the show up. And we're gonna give you more techniques, more new, new advancing, different advancements, different kits, etc. So every week we're gonna do something special from you, eight till nine every morning. Plus, so 100 findings we've talked about. You're also gonna get these lovely pink organza gift bags. Cause we do believe that with the amount of jewelry that you make from these kits, you don't just treat yourself. You, you have the inkling of treating other people around you, making jewelry for friends. Perhaps you've got some, some, uh, some colleagues that you want to treat, or perhaps you have the potential of maybe selling your jewelry. Genuine gemstones certainly are very, very exciting. Less than 20 pounds. Those bicorns of smoky quartz are exquisite. Those carved flowers as well, just an absolute bonus. Cherry, 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 yes. head pins and eye pins. That's what we're going to concentrate on now. Yes. You already know how to finish off your jewellery with your clasps. Yes. I'm going to show you now how to make your pendant drops okay. and your earring drops. Perfect. Because okay. head pins and eye pins, um, they are so effective. And very, they're very really, effective. again, simple to, to use, aren't they? Very, very simple to use. Cool. Um, I'm going to take uh, a very, very Those simple... The, oh, the whole kit is just gorgeous, I know. isn't it? I Can did. I just say, did you make this kit up? I did. I knew you had. <laughs> you know when you see the gemstones and you go, oh, that's, oh, that's a very, a cherry, that's yeah. very cherry. Yeah. That's very cherry. Okay. Love it. There's, there's, uh, there's a few different ways of make. Oh, it's all just dropped off again. There's a few different ways of making up these um, head pins, and I'm going to very quickly show you the different ways of doing it. I'm going to start off. I've threaded on some, uh, a couple of gemstones, and this could be a pendant amazing. drop, or it could be um, earrings. Okay. Now I'm going to cut off using my cutters. I'm going to cut off uh, part of this head pin because I don't want all of it. Yes. So about that much. I'm going to leave myself enough to make a loop on that end. So I'm just going to chop off the end. Okay. And then taking my round nose pliers, which are these roundy ones in your kit, I'm going to pop those in at the top there. Yes. And I'm just putting them into my pliers, not quite at the very end of the actual pliers, just a little way in. Depending on where I put my um, head pin on the uh, pliers is to how big the loop is going to be. So I don't want it enormous, so I'm going pretty close to the end of my pliers. And I'm just going to bend it over as far as my wrist will allow me to go. Yes. Take it out, turn my wrist around. Yes. Put it back in, in the same place that I was before, and continue to bend it over. And that will create a perfect loop. Got it. But it's slightly to one side at this point. Yeah. So I can pop my pliers back in, and then using my thumbnail, I usually kink it back like that. Ooh, and you just very need kinky. very kinky, and you just <laughs> you just need to make sure that that's really well closed at the top there. Now I can either use a head pin mm -hmm. to attach there, and the way I would do that, if I wanted to make either long earrings or a long pendant drop, I would not use my round nose pliers. I'd use my flat pliers. Yes. And I need to open up this little loop that we've got at the bottom here. Uh, and the way you open it is you don't pull it outwards because that will distort the shape of your perfectly formed round loop. You're actually going to open it just as if you were opening a door. And this is really, this is a really handy tip it to is. take on board, isn't it? Yes. Open the door. Open the door. Just than remember pull that. It. Yes. yes. So I'm going to just clamp on with my pliers and lift it up as if I'm opening a door. That way I keep the lovely shape that I've got and that will fit beautifully in, whoops, beautifully onto the end of there. Well, I need to open it a little bit more. Just open it up a little bit more. Yeah. Pop that on and then close it. Yeah, just like that. So that's how you would make all of your pendant drops. And the same applies to your head, your eye pin here. So you can use the same method that I've used just now making that loop. So again, I would add whatever I'm going to add on to there. Let's just put a couple of beads on, whatever I want my pattern to be. Yeah. And then I'm going to, again, chop off 
with my pliers. So Just you be say, careful of pliers. Did you say about half an inch? Did you say for mm. a little bit more than that? Do you no, reckon? I don't think it's quite. I don't. I wouldn't say it was quite that much. No, but, a little yeah. bit small. Just it depends how big you want your loop to be. Okay. Um, so about that much. However much that Perfect. is. Perfect. Yeah. That much. That much. <laughs> How much do we think that much is? I reckon that's just shy of, of half an inch. Yeah. Again, pop it into the top near the end of my pliers and twist it round. So, in effect, I've then got my pendant drop that I could quite easily put a jump ring into the top of here yes. and suspend that from my Look, necklace. Look, there's, there's a pair of earrings. Or a pair of earrings. I could just open up my... Well, I'll, I'll show you how to Look do that. Look at that. I mean, this is how easy it is. And this really is one pair of earrings in five minutes. And, and again, you know, quality finish. Yes. You've got quality ingredients. Exactly. Now, if I want to make it into earrings, all I do is open the, the same... Door. Open the door. Got exactly remember, the open same. The door. Open the door. We're lifting it up yep. like that. And then you can just thread that, that on and close the door. If I wanted to make it into a pendant, all I would do is take one of these closed jump rings. Now you'll see they've been soldered, very, very simple. Yes. I always try to cut them at the point where they've been soldered before, in, in case they're not quite closed. Yeah. So you don't want to make two cuts in them. Yeah. So find that point, snip. Yes. And again, open the door, like so, and when you've attached whatever you want to attach, close. Just like that. Just like that. Now and the, the only jewel that thing... you've made, just to highlight, you yes. have used both of those techniques at yes. least five, six times yes, here. Yes, I have. Just to take that one technique and just advance it in different ways. You know, whether you're going to go for a pendant, and that's adding the jump ring. Yes. I mean, you've got the a triple drop, but exactly the same principles exactly that you've just same. done there with the, the pendant or the making a drop design. But actually, if, if you can see there, exactly again, can you see this? Is, is that the same principle as you've just seen using your eye pins and your yes. head pins to make these beautiful links using the chain effectively. I'm, I'm so going to just go through that, sorry interrupting you, but I, I want know. to just go through that because I want people to be able to make every single piece of jewellery that um, I've got on display here. Okay. So exactly the same technique applies. So that's on an eye pin. This is on an eye pin. Yes. Okay, so I've got the, the eye at the bottom there. I only need to chop off a tiny little bit there. The object of this is to try and get the two loops exactly the same size just so that it looks neater. Again, exactly the same as I've done before with my round nose pliers. Close up that little loop. And then taking my chain, I might want to use this as um, a drop at the bottom of my earring. Yes. Or I might want to use it to connect yes. um, the necklace, make a long necklace, a long yes. chain necklace. So I can cut this chain wherever I like with my pliers, choose a length that I want, whatever length that it is that I want, and I can cut it anywhere within that loop. And this little piece of chain actually acts as a jump ring. Once you've opened, once you've cut them, once you've cut them, they're actually quite strong. Yes. So I'm going to take that little link. I can either, yeah. I can either open up my um, eye pin, here and attach the chain to that. Mm -hmm. Whoops, find the, sh the opening side. Open the door, pop my chain in and close it, like so. So that would, uh, that would be part of my necklace. I'd do the same on the other side. Yes, and that creates this amazing elongated, if you wanted yes. to create a tassel, a if really you long to create a, yeah, like necklace. midriff type of, That's certainly right. coming into spring and summer, you know, open necklines where yes. you've got that little more, more like freedom to wear, you know, something yeah. a little bit more textured. Absolutely. Uh, that, so, that, so the two techniques that Cho has just shown you, I mean, essentials really, to using the head pins and the eye pins so effectively to involve the, the shepherd hooks, yes. to make earrings, to add a clasp, to then create a neckline, and then to add the chain to create these amazing drops. These are all techniques techniques that you can bring together to create yes. literally your own unique masterpieces. Cherry's just given you an inspiration. I mean, just to take on board, less than 20 pounds. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of jewelry. Again, one pound 25, 
one pound 25 per piece of jewelry now if you are a little bit nervous still and you're going oh i'd like to try it but am i a well we do have dvds that can back it up which we gave with part of the bundle uh, that bundle that i gave you earlier on that came with the beading basics dvd so you can get that for four pound 95 if you want to buy that separately either on our phone lines or alternatively on the website but we also have courses running yes. and cherry herself runs uh, the starter course i do and it's a course that basically gives gives everybody the experience, the, the encouragement, yes. the confidence to really get those basic techniques and take them into positive amazing jewellery. It is, it's about giving people the confidence really so that you've got somebody there with you showing you every you. step of the way and we can go over and over things as many times as yes. you like. Um, we'll either do um, a basic beading course or sometimes um, probably every other month we'll do a project but it will be involving fairly basic um, techniques. And one of the biggest things that I'll say is, is that um, it's an amazing way to, to really find yourself with other people who are starting their journey as well. Yes. It's not just about Cherry's guidance but it's about jo joining a, a, together lots of people, lots of people involved you know who come on the course. So if you are interested yeah. we'll tell you a little bit more about that there. Beading Basics Workshop with I say guest designer Cherry. More information should do call our amazing award-winning customer service team 0800 644 655 is the number to dial the lovely uh, Kirsty here as part of, of our team will try and book you on as soon as you can we can give you a little bit more information on the other courses that we have running as well we have a variety of courses that run why work for beginners so if you've already got involved in BD basics and you're now ready to advance into the wonderful world of why work which is one of the big big features of jewelry yeah. maker here polymer polymer clay based as well the, with Debbie Bulford another very popular as is at McCrimer with our lovely Mark lots of others going on bridal accessories perhaps you want to take your jewelry into business business well you could do that as well and we have courses all running to lead you through whichever part of the journey that you're ready to take but I can say is, is this is just the first show here at our new to jewelry maker show one of the biggest things is that we want to really involve you and introduce you as only we know how thank you to Cherry thank you to don't forget it's every week starting 8 a.m. Saturday to Saturday. Take care of yourself. Thanks for your time. Bye.